Hello, this is Doug Tidwell coming to you from the city of the Oaks, Raleigh, North Carolina, known worldwide as the idyllic backdrop for the film Dirty Dancing. In this video, we'll take a look at Colossal Cave Adventure, an early computer game that had a major influence on future games and game developers. The game was created in the mid-1970s by Willie Crowther and Don Woods, and it was open source. The last version of the code from the original authors was written in 1995, and you're probably wondering where that code is now. With the encouragement and permission of the authors, open source pioneer Eric S. Raymond has ported the code to his GitLab account. Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to build and run that code. The first step, of course, is to clone the repo. You can find it at the URL on your screen. Once you've cloned the code, switch to that directory and run make, which will likely fail. You're probably missing the Python YAML library and live edit. To complicate things, the way you install those libraries is different on the Mac, Linux, and Windows. We'll tackle Linux first. Use the install manager for your distro to install the package python-yaml. Next, install the package libedit-devel. With those in place, you should be able to type make and build the code. You'll get a couple of warnings, which, if you're as irresponsible as I am, you'll completely ignore. You should now have an executable named advent. By the way, the code was first written on a DEC PDP-10, which limited the file names to six characters. This is a history lesson, after all. On the Mac, it's a little more complicated. For the Python YAML library, just type pip install pyyaml. For libedit, if you use Mac ports, sudo port install libedit will do the trick. If you use homebrew, type brew install libedit. Be aware that whichever tool you use, you'll have to add the directory with the libedit.pc file to your package config path environment variable. With those tedious steps behind you, running make should work. The warning messages you'll get are different, but the carelessness with which you ignore them should be the same. We're all about inclusiveness here at Red Hat, so we'll cover Windows as well. Your first step towards the land of adventure is to install SIGWIN. You need the libraries as well as GCC and Make. If you install everything in the Devel and Python packages, you should have everything you need. Run Make, and you're done. Now the moment you've been waiting for, actually playing the game. Hardcore gamers, brace yourselves. Colossal Cave Adventure combines the visual appeal of the command line with all the excitement of typing. So here we go. Type dot slash advent to get started. Asking for instructions gives you the background of the game and some helpful hints. Enter takes you into the building. The game tells you there are a number of useful sounding things in the room, so take all of them. Get keys, get lamp, get food, and get water. You can type inventory to see what you're carrying. A pro tip, Colossal Cave Adventure only looks at the first five characters of the command, so you can just type invin. That allows you to run the inventory command 44% faster. You're welcome. Another hint, you've picked up everything in the room, but maybe that's not a good idea. You'll have to play the game to find out. Load it up with all these provisions, type leave to go back outside. Now you can wander around. For example, typing west takes you to the top of a hill in the forest. 
As you can see, the game requires your active imagination to make the most out of it, and it's actually quite compelling the more you play. Your goal, of course, is to find the cave, go inside, and have various adventures, but we'll let you figure out how to do those things on your own. Typing quit and yes takes you out of the game. At this point, you'll get an unkind message about your pathetic score, but you can improve that later. One more thing before we go, if you just want to run the code without building it yourself, we've created a Docker-compatible image at quay.io or key.io, depending on how that's pronounced in your part of the world. To use it, just run docker pull quay.io slash rhdp slash open dash adventure to bring that image onto your machine. Create a container from it, ssh into it, type dot slash advent, and you're on your way. In the not too distant future, we'll show you some more things you can do with the code and the image, but we'll stop here for now. We hope you've enjoyed this adventure into the history of gaming. For the Red Hat Developer Program, this is Doug Tidwell saying may all your bugs be shallow. Cheers.